welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the second video in our Pixie Power series. The first video, I asked you guys to comment down below who you wanted to see all of the videos on, and I have a pretty decent long list now, so we're going to be doing these videos for a while, which is great. I love that you guys enjoyed that first video that made me so happy because I was so excited to do this series. So since I have such a long list, I went with one of the ones that I really wanted to do first. So I did Audrey Hepburn for this video. I think she is gorgeous. She's one of the OG pixies that has inspired so many women to cut their hair. And I just I love her. So I wanted to do a video on her day-to-day -day look. But anyways, I am super excited about this video. And if you guys are interested in seeing how to get this Audrey Hepburn inspired look, then just keep on watching. So starting off this makeup look with her brows, she has huge, very full, very filled in brows. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills dark brown um, brow Wiz to go ahead and outline her shape. She has a very thick front area and then she's got a kind of a sharper arch. I don't have much of an arch at all to my eyebrows so I'm trying to give it just a slight one without making it look too too fake and then I'm gonna go ahead and just draw in the um, upper line of it just because I want to have a nice defined shape and I'm gonna do that on both eyebrows before filling in. Then going in with my Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills in Dark Brown, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to fill in all those gaps um, because like I said, she does have very filled in eyebrows. They're gorgeous. That's like one of her statement things. So I went ahead and I did that and then I'm going over to set that and make them look a little bit bushier with my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean up my edges with some... Uh, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15 and this is just going to make them look nice and sharp because the um, end part of hers are decently sharp and I just want to clear up my arch a little bit. Then going in with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, this is just going to be priming our eyes for today. I wanted to do something very neutral to neutralize any veins on my eyelid without making it look like I had a base on. So I'm just buffing that all across my lid. Then for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be taking this little eyeshadow palette from Physicians Formula and I'm taking this nice nude shade in the palette and I am just going from brow bone to lash line with this just to set our base. Then going in with this warmer tone and this a little bit of a cooler, darker tone, I'm just going to be taking that on a flat, fluffier brush and I'm just going to buff that all across my lid area in circular motions to where it has a nice diffused edge. This is just going to give us a nice, soft, smoky look. She doesn't have much eyeshadow going on. She just has kind of a deeper socket area. So I want to give that illusion that I have kind of this smoky look going on with my eyes. So I'm taking that same concoction and just going um, underneath my lower lash line. She only has the eyeshadow underneath her lower lash line in all the pictures that I could find so I won't be putting mascara down there but I'm going in with my darker shade and on a smaller brush again from Real Techniques I'll just be buffing this into my lash line area um, just to add a lot more smokiness and um, softness in that area just because I want this to be very diffused. Then I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Automatic Brown Eyeliner and I'm just aligning my tight line just to, again, make my lashes appear more smoky in that area. And then going in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, I'll just be giving a light coat to my top lashes and nothing to my bottom lashes because I want to keep those nice and bare since they're already dark. She really doesn't have much with her lower lashes so I want to leave those as is. Then moving on to the face, she has a nice, very dewy, very fresh face. So I'm taking my Argan Oil Drops from Physicians Formula. Just act as my primer for today because I want it to be nice and dewy. Then going in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is kind of like an in-between, so I don't have to set this one with powder. But she is extremely pale, and this is one of my lightest foundations. So I went ahead and went in with the shade W1 for this and I'm just blending this out with a damp beauty blender, well, Real Techniques beauty blender, just to make it a little bit lighter coverage and a little bit softer so you can still see some of my freckles and stuff show through the foundation. Because again, she keeps it very natural looking. Then going in with some of that MAC 
the Longwear Concealer in NW15 that we used to conceal our eyebrows with. I'm just going to be setting, or I mean concealing my under eye area and my nose and my chin just to brighten up all of those areas because she does have a very highlighted look to her face. Not necessarily like highlighter, just like brighter, if that makes sense. Now to set that, I'm going in with my Bed Night Colorless Luxury Powder and I'm just gonna be setting my under eye area and a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my chin just where I don't have any creasing, but I don't wanna do much powder, I'm doing very minimal. Then for bronzer today, I'm using my Too Faced bronzer and milk chocolate Soleil bronzer. And this is just gonna be to define my cheeks just slightly and warm up my skin a bit. She does kind of have a warmer tone to her skin. So I'm just kind of defining my cheekbones, but she doesn't really wear a contour, so I just wanna add a little bit of a shadow. And then she doesn't wear blush in a lot of the pictures I found, so I'm just going in with my uh, Becca highlighter in Moonstone just to give a little bit extra dewiness. This is a finer grain of glitter in the highlight, so you can't really see much of it on your skin it just looks like it's glowing so that's why I chose this one for this look and then I highlighted my cheekbones my nose my cupid's bow my chin and my brow bones just to recap then for lip liner I'm using my lick um, lip liner in scandal and this is just to give us some definition to our lips and give us our outline she does have pretty full lips and then I'm going in with my um, Milani red lipstick. I can't remember the name of it, so I'll put it in the description box for you guys. But this is gonna give us that uh, glossy bright red look. And then I'm gonna go in with a darker red lipstick and I this is my um, Wet n Wild one in Cinnamon. And this is a matte one because I wanted to tone down the gloss just a little bit. So this is just going on the inner areas of my lips just to give it a nice, uh, plump look. Then to set my face, I'm using my Mario Badescu Rose Water just to give us a nice fresh finish and you guys are done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as comment down below who else you want to see in this series. Um, all short hair ladies from history or famous people from now. But anyway, make sure you follow me on all of my social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Snapchat. Um, all the names and links are in the description box for you guys. Also check out my previous video, which is this one right here. And then I'll also have the previous one uh, in the series in the description box for you guys. I will see you guys all next time. Bye.